Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. Hey everyone, welcome back. I know adding narration, sometimes called voiceover, is not real difficult. But what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is I'm going to be showing you how to add voiceover narration to just a segment of your video and leaving the rest of the video unchanged. I'm going to be using VideoPad 7.51, but the steps I show you will be applicable to both newer and older versions. Once we've loaded our video onto the timeline, the first thing you want to do is mark off the segment that you wish to add narration to. And to do that, we are going to use the red timeline cursor and we are going to position it at the beginning of where we want to start our narration. You can use the audio track to give you visual clues as to when there is no speaking or when it is quiet. And as you hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor, you will see that there are three options. You do not want to use brackets. You want to choose split all tracks. And we have created one cut mark. We now want to move our red timeline cursor to where we want our narration to end. And I'm going to have it end right about here. Once again, hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor and choose split all tracks. We have now created a beginning and end point of the clip that we wish to narrate. Now click one time and this section is activated and you can see that it has turned gray, indicating that it is now activated. First thing I want to do is I want to mute this clip because we are going to narrate over it and we don't want the old sound there. So we simply choose the change sound volume icon, click one time, and from the little clip volume dialog box we click on mute and OK and our clip will be muted. You also have the option to simply make your clip low volume if you wish by bringing this little cursor to a low volume point. We are going to mute our clip and choose OK. Next thing we need to do is to determine how long our clip is so we know how long we have to narrate. Now when you hover your mouse over this activated clip you will see this little information box come up and you can see that the duration of this clip is 11.152 seconds. That's how long we have to speak and keep that in your brain or write it down 11.1 seconds. I also strongly suggest that once you've determined the duration of your new narration that you plan out what you want to say so that it fits the allotted time slot. Now, the next thing is extremely, extremely important, and that is you must reposition your red timeline cursor to the beginning of the segment that you are going to be narrating. I repeat, this is extremely important because this tells VideoPad where to start the narration. Now, there are two ways that you can get to the narration screen. You can click on the record button from the top here and select over video or you can click on add narration and choose record narration. Note the starting position of our red timeline cursor here in the record sound over video box is the exact same position that we left it at on the timeline and this is exactly where we want to start our narration. Now let's go over some of these options here Devices, this is your microphone, and you can choose your microphone from here. Um, this mixer, I never change. I leave the default. You might have your own record mixer. Recording options, we're going to come back to that in one second. File, I definitely recommend you giving your file a name so that you can identify it. And it's also really, really important that you check where your file is being saved to because there's nothing more frustrating than creating a file and not being able to find it. Over here we have our red start and stop button. This stop starts and stops our narration. And this can pause our narration. And this is a little time counter 
that shows you the time that his that has elapsed. Now, recording options. When do you want to stop the recording or how do you want the recording to stop? At the end of the video, that does not apply to us because we are only narrating a short segment of the video. Now, you could choose manually and then you could start and stop your narration using the red start and stop button. What I like to use is after duration. This means that the narration will automatically stop after this amount of time. Right now it defaults to the total length of the video. You can change this. Hover your mouse over it and click one time and you now have the option to put in the exact duration that you want to record. And we want to record 11.2 seconds. because that is the length of our segment. I'm going to click one time outside to indicate that we are finished editing this time. And I now have 11.2 seconds for my narration, at which point it will stop. One more thing I want to mention. If you have a slow computer or maybe an older computer like mine, there seems to be a lag from the time I start the record from the time I click on this red record button to the time that the video actually starts moving and so I suggest that you wait till the video starts before you start speaking. We're now going to record a, a short narration. This is an example of adding narration to just a part of a video and leaving the rest unchanged. Our recording has automatically stopped after 11.2 seconds. You now must manually close the window and you can either close it down here from the close button or you can just click on the X up in the upper right hand corner. The file that was created was automatically added to your audio recording section up here and it was automatically placed on the timeline and as you can see, it was placed right where our red timeline cursor was positioned. Let's look and see what the exported video sounds like. And this is the first bottle gourd that we got. This is an example of adding narration to just a part of a video and leaving the rest unchanged. There it is. Wow. Beautiful. Looks good. And there you have it. Step-by-step -step instructions to add narration to a segment of your video. If you'd like to see other video pad tutorials, please leave a suggestion in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And if you enjoy gardening, please visit my playlist from the link in the description. See you later. Bye.